Well, myself, I guess it was really at university level. I was a weaver and I studied painting and those two things combined uh, led me into working into fashion and then interiors. It's really all just about, for me, it's all about colour and how you make stuff. And for me, it was a passion that I had from us as a small child. There was always books lying around. My parents were both teachers. My mother was an art teacher. And I just spent my entire childhood either hanging out with books or reproducing images from books and um, arguing with my mother on her wallpaper choice for my bedroom. I think it's got to be, I mean, really all around everywhere, but museums, books, movies, you just, your eyes are open all of the time. You're looking at everything and you just filter that through your own imagination. And the ideas just come out. You know, you keep looking, you keep looking, and then the ideas go into you and they come out of you. It's a bit like any creative process, like being a, a painter or an author. You just have a Rolodex in your mind. You have ideas and images, they're all there. And yes, they do sort of reshuffle from time to time. You're walking down the street and then pop, an idea comes into your head. Or you're confronted with a design problem and you're just going through your mind as to what would fit and what would work. But it's having that, having those sort of your eyes open all the time because you never know what you, when you're going to need that idea. You never know when you're going to need that image. So looking all the time. I think one of the really exciting things of design today is all to do with the technology, what's possible. You know, over the past 200 years, wallpaper, fabrics, whatever, the main limiting factor has been what you can do technologically, and that's what's driven designers to get creative. As there's more technologies available, we've got more that we can play with and more we can do. So I think that's kind of an important part of what's happening now. The other thing is detail beauty, pattern, embellishment. For several years, everything was flat and clean and even and empty. And right now, people are happy to go a bit crazy. You want to sort of put that detail into it, put that craft into it, put design into it.